You have to understand what we call the Franklin reality mind. I teach this over and over and over again. And every time I teach it, I teach it to myself just like I teach it to you. But you've got to wrap your mind around this concept. We all have basic needs, don't we? We have basic needs like food, shelter, right? We have basic needs like love and acceptance and relationship and self-fulfillment, right? They're basic. Watch what happens to a human being when you strip them of their self-dignity. When you strip them of their self-worth. You been to a Native American reservation lately? You want to meet some people that have been stripped of their identity? Oh, they're just a bunch of drunks living on these reservations. We, people talk about like they're worthless people. If I had taken you when you were four days old or a day old or four minutes old and taken you there, you'd grow up to be no different. Because what gets splattered onto your transparency paper would change how you see the world. Your DNA is not holier than anybody else's DNA. Right? Needs. We all have basic human needs. Belief window. That's your transparency paper. Right? You see the world through your belief systems. From your belief systems, you create rules. You call them if and thens. Those rules determine your behavior. Your behavior determines your results in life. Your results then feed back and they, did I satisfy my needs? That makes sense? Let me tell you where the world's going wrong. Everybody wants to change this. Everybody wants to change your behavior. They want to tell you how to exercise. They want to tell you how to eat. They want to tell you what to do. They want to tell you how to think. This is where it's at right here. If you can figure out what these are and how to change them, <coughs> this will be automatic. Good things will just start to happen for you. Things will just start to work out. Right? You have to transform your mind. You are in control of your mind. And anybody that tells you you're not is foolish. So let's do some examples. Who thinks it's a basic human need to want to be healthy? I think everybody wants to be healthy. I think that's a, a basic desire to feel good, to feel energized, to be vitalistic, enthusiastic. Oh, no, I don't want to be like that. That's a basic human need, right? So if the results down there are not getting that, people say, that's because he just won't behave. He just won't go to the gym. He just won't eat right. He just won't get adjusted. He won't do those things because his beliefs aren't consistent with doing those things. I'm going to give you an example. My mom was sitting in the lunchroom at work one day eating a salad. And the guy comes in and says, Peggy, why are you always eating salads? Every time I come in here, you're eating a salad. You don't need to lose weight. She says, I don't eat salads because I need to lose weight. I eat salads because vegetables are the most nutrient-dense food in the world and they nourish the cells of my body and help me express vitality and strength. Now, I don't know if you said it just like that, Mom. But that's, that's what she wanted to say, okay? That's what she was thinking in her mind. You know, it just didn't come out quite as articulate as that. But So let's, let's walk through that situation. You think that guy eats salads? No. Only, he only eats salad if he needs to lose weight. Right? It's rabbit food, right? You don't eat rabbit food unless you need to lose weight, right? Eat rabbit food, you need to lose weight. So let's go through it. Belief system. Vegetables are for losing weight. If that is true, then 
do I eat vegetables if, if I'm thin? No, right? If I don't eat vegetables, is my body going to express the health that it should? If my body doesn't express the health that it should, does that meet a basic human need of mine? No. Right? I could do this with anything in the world, any behavior, any result in your life. You can flow through this chart. Every time you're having an unintended result in your life, from now on, you pull out this piece of paper. And you look at this flow chart. And you say, I'm having an unintended result in my life. What's the end result? Poor spinal health. Overweight. High blood pressure. Diabetes. High cholesterol. Okay, good. I got high blood sugar. I got high cholesterol, and I got high blood pressure, right? How common is that in America? Say pretty darn common, okay? So that's the result. Does that feed back and meet my human needs? No way, it doesn't, right? And I don't want to be like that, but I can't act right. I just can't get myself to behave, right? Stop trying to behave. Belief. My dad had high blood pressure. My dad was overweight. My dad had high blood sugar. My dad had high cholesterol. My brother does. My cousins do. It's in my DNA. That's the way God created me. Be sick, right? So that's my belief system. We laugh. Are there a lot of people walking around with that belief system? Huh? My belief is it's genetic. Runs in my family. My doctor told me it runs in my family. My belief system is it runs in my family. If it runs in my family, then am I going to change my diet and my, my activities, how I eat, move, and think? Am I going to change that if I believe that it's genetic and, I, and it just runs in my family? No. Why would you? You can't change your genes. I mean... These ones, maybe. But the ones inside your cell, you can't change them. So if that's true, you're not going to do the right things. Because of that, the result is you continue to have these problems, right? And so our solution has been, to a generation, no problem. Don't worry about your belief systems. Don't worry about th the belief system in your mind that's creating suicidal behavior. Don't worry about that. Keep having suicidal belief systems. And what I'll do is I'll give you a drug to lower your blood sugar and lower your cholesterol and lower your blood pressure. So you can keep having suicidal behaviors. You can keep having suicidal thoughts, right? You'll still die sooner, but we'll all feel good about it because we changed your blood work. How is it that that resonates true with every person in this room? And we walk through life like sheep. Like sheep. Shame on us. Shame on us. We want to blame a pharmaceutical company. We want to blame a doctor. 